An 8MGD water treatment plant has been designed with six identical rectangular clarifiers. The tanks are installed in parallel, have depths of 10 feet, and a horizontal design velocity of 0.5 feet per minute. If the length to width ratio of each clarifier is 4 to 1, how long will the flow spend in the clarifiers in hours? So this problem doesn't require any detailed equations from the reference manual despite the fact that it's about clarifier design. Instead, we can solve it using basic flow and geometry. So let's get started. For step one, we can see that the design velocity is given in feet per minute. So let's convert our flow to the same units. To convert 8MGD into cubic feet per minute, we can do the following. We can convert by 1.547 CFS to MGD, which is a unit conversion you may find in the front of the reference manual or have it memorized. From there, we can multiply by 60 seconds in one minute, and that will give us 742.56 cubic feet per minute. Alternately, you could convert this out longer by converting million gallons to gallons and days all the way down to seconds, but this is going to be faster. Next, we can find the amount of flow in each clarifier. So this is straightforward. If we have 742.56 cubic feet per minute in all of the clarifiers, then we know that we have 123.76 cubic feet per minute in each clarifier. For step three, we can now find the area of flow for each clarifier. So let's draw this out so that you can see what it looks like, very roughly. So the velocity passing through the clarifier is given as 0.5 feet per minute in this problem. And if we look at our dimensions, we could see that this would be the depth, d. This would be the width, w and L would be the length. So we know what the flow is and we know what the velocity is. So using Q equals VA, we can at least calculate what the total area of flow should be. So rewriting this to A equals Q over V, we can see that 123.76 cubic feet per minute per clarifier divided by 0 0.5 feet per minute will give us 247.52 feet squared per clarifier. So for step four, we can look at the clarifier dimensions. So the area of flow, as we can see from our drawing over here, is going to be the width times the depth. So area equals W times D, and in which case we can see that 247.52 square feet per clarifier equals 10 feet, which was given over here in the problem as the depth, times W. So W solves out to be 24.75 feet. So now that we have one of the dimensions we need, we can find the rest, in this case, the length. So the problem also gives us 
the length to width ratio of each clarifier as being four to one. So we can say L to W equals four to one equals some value to 24.75 feet. So multiplying that by four, we would get an L of just about 99 feet. Which finally means all we have to do now is calculate the time. So time t is going to be given as the length over the velocity. So if the length is 99 feet through here at a velocity of 0 0.5 feet per minute, then the total travel time is going to take about 198 minutes or 3.3 hours. Our answer over here could be the second one and that'll be all it takes to solve this problem. So the important thing to recognize here is that the tanks are in parallel, meaning that they are designed side by side and they are not in series where they'd be passing through each other one at a time. If it had specified that the tanks were in series, we would need to know the hours spent in one clarifier and then multiply by the total number of clarifiers given. But in this case, we were given it in parallel. So knowing that is going to be the first step in solving this problem. The rest of it is just unit conversions and determining your areas of flow and then finally solving for the time. So that's it.